All right, here's my first uh, epoxy resin art piece that I've completed. Started working on it yesterday at about uh, nine o'clock. It's about seven o'clock this morning. So that set overnight. Hold on, buddy. And um, it actually turned out quite nice. Um, so this is more for people who kind of just want to know what it's about, I guess. <sighs> kind of more of like a homegrown video than a professional video. Uh, what I did was I bought the professional setup. It's going to run you about 180 bucks. It's going to be your your hardener. This is your the resin. Um, four to six ounces per per square foot. So you're gonna have to measure up your pieces, what you're doing, and kind of measure correctly. Um, it's really important to measure correctly is all I've learned from when I watch other videos. Um, what I bought was two things to mix. So I got a big measuring cup mixer, kind of marked where I needed it to be. So put your hardener and your softener, softener, put your hardener and your resin in <coughs> um, <coughs> separate containers. Measure them out correctly. This one I got on there. What it needs to be measured to. Mix it up. Uh, mix it for a good three minutes at least. Uh, I just know that you need to mix it very well. Get yourself a, a couple of mixing things. I bought another one. Uh, this right here bucket so that I could just kind of like throw it in there when I'm done. I don't have it laying around. Um, cover this up when you're done so you don't get dust or any dirt in there when you pre-mix again. Um, you're going to need a mask. So you don't want to breathe any of that stuff in and get yourself a really good torch. This is kind of a, I think next time I'm going to buy a, a better torch, but um, I use this and to get the bubbles out. Don't get too close to it, but the heat will eliminate the bubbles pretty good, actually. And get yourself some latex gloves. It came with a little sort of spreader thing from uh, resin.com. It's kind of nice. They sent me five of them. And uh, so that's like my little setup. Mix it up well to what uh, your painting size is and portions. And uh, spread on there, just dump it all on there. And uh, make sure you got a window open. Um, and just start, start spreading it around nice and evenly. Um, and that's about it. I was told after you want to try to clean up whatever you're with uh, the resin I, I didn't I've seen a couple videos where people didn't even clean them up they just kind of covered them up like this and just said you know just reuse them some people said uh, use vinegar to clean it I'm not really quite sure I'm water ain't gonna work another gentleman told me to he just uses paper towel to uh, clean it out right after just try to clean it out and that's about it but I mean, and then I, I didn't get the sides. Well, this is my first piece, so you know, beat that. But I was told that you can use tape. So some people tape up the sides, and then they put the resin on there, and then they take it off, and and it's got a little bit of grooves and bumps to it. Some people I've seen take like a like a mini like little saw thing and just even it out really nicely. So I'll probably have to invest in one of those and start doing that eventually. But right now it's. Uh, just me wanting to start doing some of these. Worked up pretty well. Just make sure that you got a level or it's leveled. Uh, you don't want it to be on a slight hinge or you don't want it to be not level. Um, so the initial thing took me about, I want to say about 15 to 20 minutes actually. Well, after I set it down, then I'm trying to get the bubbles out and just kind of washed it and it took about 10, 10 to 20 minutes. I don't know. Next time I'll try to record it and time it. I really don't know. But it turned out pretty nice. It's kind of nice. So. It just makes it look like, like glass. It's pretty nice. So, this is my first one. That's going to be the next one. It really pops out the colors. That's what I like about it. It just makes it... No, it makes it look more alive, I guess, if you want to say. So that one's, so my next one, it's, it's, next one's got some sort of grooves and 
little ridges on it. I'm gonna see how it how it works with that. Cause this one was pretty smooth at the time, so hoping that will work out well. Alright, um, that's about it.